and Susan Aruda. Today we're training legs and abs. We are going to bench it up, so you need a bench. And we're going to train hard, work these body parts. They are a big favorite for many. And let's chisel, let's change. Let's warm up and start just tapping the bench. Lift up, touch. Standing nice and tall, shoulders down and back, chest lifted, back is straight. And breathing deep, swinging those arms. And let's do it. A switch step, tap, switch. Airborne as we switch. Reach, reach. Overhead. Four, three, two, and one. Let's just tap the underside of the bench. Give a little flip kick. And get into that deeper breathing. Abs are pulled in. Four, three, two, and one. Let's step up, down, switch. Lead legs, and hands behind the head, elbows back. And add a knee lift here. Lift, so a little bit of a balance top of that movement, step, lift, don't straighten that leg, straight but not locked, don't lock out the knee, stay safe, four, and three, and two, and last one, all right, we're going to hold it in a plank position, incline plank, press the shoulders down away from your ears, keep your head in neutral, and we're just going to push it forward and back using the toes, and press forward and back, pulling those abs in, incline plank, four, three, two, one, Take it down to the elbows, lift one leg up, and hold. Make sure you square up those hips, facing the floor, facing the ground. Keep those shoulders pressed down, breathe, and switch legs. Extend that leg out. Make sure you're not arching the back here. You want to stay tucked through the pelvis. So that the back is protected, abs are engaged, hold in through that drawing, and drop it down, and switching legs, and now reach with the opposite arm, breathe deep, static holds are really effective <laughs> to warm you up, and they are challenging. You gotta keep your form right, stretch through that arm, extend, lengthen out a little more through the leg and the arm, stay square, and let's switch sides, start with that extended leg, and opposite arm reaches, keep that shoulder pressed down, monitor your alignment using a sideways knee, come on, reach a little further through that Extended arm and leg. Keep the head in neutral. Don't look up or down. Just keep it in the middle. And release it. Let's alternate with that. Lift and extend. Alternating with control. Slight pause on the top of that extension. And last four, and last two, and one last. 
last one. All right, we're gonna grab some loads and we're gonna take it to a step up and a curtsy lunge back. So combination move. Get your alignment right. Start with your weaker leg or the right leg. You're gonna step and curtsy back. Step up and then back, back and on a diagonal. Lift and down and back. And exhale on that lift. You're pressing through the heel, using the whole foot, but emphasize pressing through the heel. When you're pressing up onto the bench, standing up onto the bench, stay tall. And exhale. Four more. And last two. And one, switching legs. All right, up and step back on a diagonal. Lift. Now think, lead with your chest to keep the shoulders pressed down away from your ears and land soft. Exhale and nice tall body. Abs in tight. Exhale. And breathe deep. Soft landings. Lower with control. And don't let those weights move around. Stay in scapular retraction. And on last four. And three. Work a little deeper into the glute as you step back on a diagonal. Last one. And quick break. Right here. You're gonna on a diagonal, lift and down. So back to that first leg, and you're staying low. So you don't want to go full extension on onto the bench, stay low. You need to tap, tap it, or try and go airborne. Lift, and exhale. Four more. Three, and two. Last one. Switching legs. Let's go. All right. Diagonal, set it up, and lift. And down. So, partial squat here, stepping onto that leg on the bench. Breathing deep. Keep the back flat. Exhale forcefully. Come on, keep that tension on those working muscles. Exhale. We got four more. Come on, lift. Stay in control. And last one. And release, drop those loads. Here you're going to step up, up, down, down. And then reverse that. Up, up. And reverse the lead leg. Right, left. And left, right. All right. We're going to take it to a simultaneous jump, or you can stick with this. All right, jump it up and down. Strive to get your hips to the ceiling. Tap that bench with your toes. And exhale, soft landings. Let's speed it up, up and down. Keep those abs engaged. Strong core here. Soft landings. Exhale. Eight, seven. Last four, three, two, and one. And stretch. 
stretch it back. And keep those legs moving. All right, so here, if you want the challenge, you want to strive to keep your legs straight when they are up on the bench. Soft knees, of course. So here we're going to keep it in the middle. And we're going to step, step. And alternate. Right, right. And you can also use push-up grips here to give you a little more space. And it's a modifier. Let's go both legs. Jump it up and down. So knees are bent. Want to make it harder. Keep the legs straight on the jump. Exhale. Exhale. Really pulling in those abs. We're going to speed it up. Let's go. Exhale. Focus on the breathing. Keep the abs holding it tight. Shoulders press down. Exhale. Eight more. Come on. Stay strong. Four. Three. Two. One. And step. Just like a downward dog pressing back on the bench. And breathing deep. All right. Extend one leg on the bench on a diagonal and lean like you're bowing. Keep your chest lifted, abs in. Active stretch here on the hamstrings. So you want to strive to get your chest towards your thigh. And stay in nice, tall alignment, tall body. Four, three, two, last one. And water break. Okay, we're going to increase the loads and remember that when we're doing this, we're isolating one leg at a time. So keep that in mind when you're picking your loads because you want to stay in correct alignment and it's basically double the load. So we're going to stand to one side of the bench and we're going to step up and down. So notice on the step up, you're standing straight up, but your knee is soft. And exhale. Keep that upper back nice and straight. Don't round there. And exhale. Let's add a leg extension on the lift. And down. You can also opt to use just one dumbbell, holding it in front of the body with two hands. And exhale. And four more. Now, be mindful of the angle of your knee. You're stepping down and slightly back. You don't want to have that knee over the toe. Last one. And here, let's just little tiny jumps at the top of that movement. And breathe deep. And last eight, seven, six. Put weight on that leg. Four, three, two, one. Drop the loads. Extend that leg. And recover your breathing. We're going to take it to the other side and breathe deep. Safely grab those loads and again, make sure the placement of that foot is on the center of the bench. Exhale, lower slow with control and breathe deep. And keep those 
those weights rigid the side of the body don't let them move around and let's add that leg extension lift slow and controlled and keep that knee soft exhale you're gonna notice one side is more challenge with balance than the other. Keep an eye on that angle of that knee. Exhale. Two more. And exhale. Hold it down here. Little presses, little tiny squats at the bottom of that range of motion. Eight more, seven, breathe deep, four, three, two, one, and drop those loads. Let's sink into that leg, stretch out that hamstring, and great work. Okay, we're gonna just step it over side to side and recover in your breathing. Keep the back flat and then maybe a little hop skip over. And both feet at the same time. Exhale, soft on that landing. Let's do it. A little faster if you can with control. Side to side. Flat back, head in neutral. Eight more. Seven. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And whew. breathe deep. Keep those legs moving. Let's grab some water and towel off. All right, grab a mat. We're gonna position your body on one side of the bench. And here, you're gonna lift the legs up, crunch up, and down. Exhale. Now, I want you to rotate through the palms as you crunch up. Exhale. Keep the chin off the chest. Fist under your chin on that lift. And four, three, turn to touch those fingertips down, last one, and here, you're going to reach up at the top of that range of motion, reach for the ankles, exhale, forceful exhalation, exhale, come on, stay strong, chest lifted, Leave with that chest. We got eight more. Exhale on that lift. Four, three, two, last one. Now here, position your body from a little further away from the bench. You're gonna reach under with one leg and over with the other and crunch to reach for the edge of that bench. Lift. Now again, think lead with your chest. On that crunch. And extend. And come on, really, we'll focus on that core. Pulling those abs in. Four, three, and two, last one, hold it, keep 
here, up at the top. You're going to reach, grab the edge of that bench, lower, slow. Exhale, reach, and lower down. Exhale, lower down, slow, with control. Exhale, two more. And last one. And hold it here. Down and lift. Palms up. Reach to the outside of the bench. And down. And assisted <laughs> V position. Exhale. Four. Let go if you can. Last two. Last one. And reach, extend all the way back. And all the way up. Touch the other side of the bench. Slow to lower. Up. Reach the top of the bench. And lower. Underside. And palms down. And pressing the feet together. And working on that core. Four. Three, exhale, just one, and let's take it up. Let's work those legs. Right. All right, so here we are going to take it on to all fours and extend one leg, lift it up. And then behind you to the other side of the bench and down. And exhale. And so down, around, and then to the side. Behind and to the side. So really focus on that deep engagement of the core. Exhale. A little faster. Maintaining control. Four and three. Last two. Last one. Down and to the back. Cross and lift. So I really want you to just isolate that glute and stay in proper alignment. Abs in. Back is flat. Shoulders are pressed down. Exhale. Cross and back. Cross and back. And exhale. Eight. Seven. Six. And last four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it here. And just take it down to the forearms little tiny pulses. Now let's turn the toe out and in. Outward and in. Last four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Yeah, the leg. Reach it out and across. And down. Maintain that flat back. Cross and down. Keep that head in neutral. Focus on the breathing. Cross and down. And down. Let's go a little faster. Maintaining control across. And back. And exhale. We got four more. Three. And two. Last one. Hold it cross, cross, and back. Cross and back. And exhale. So I really want you to just isolate that glute and 
stay in proper alignment, abs in, back is flat, shoulders are pressed down, and exhale, last four, three, two, and one, hold it here, little pulses, take it down to the forearms, External rotation, internal rotation with that foot. Flex to the outside, to the inside. One, flat back. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on, you got this. Stay strong. Last two. Last one. And just sitting back onto your heels, stretching it back. And let's take it to a pigeon stretch so we can really get into that glute to stretch it out. Bring one leg in front of you, bent, and just lean in towards that leg. And support your weight with your arms, hands, or forearms on the bench. Again, staying lifted. Pressing those shoulders down. Breathing deep. And I'm gonna reach back with that other leg. And stretching the quadricep. And you can stay up here if this leaning forward is too much. And extend that front leg. Use the bench. Use your arms to pull closer into the bench. And really work on that flexibility. Other side, other leg. Bend it, leaning into it. And this is where you can stay tall, stand, start here. And then maybe inch your way down a little closer to the bench on your forearms. And reaching back with that other foot. Push your foot against your hand. And bring them deep. And extend that leg in front. And again, let's stretch those hamstrings. All right. Keep stretching. And keep at it. Way to go. Way to work it. Have a super strong day.